Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where we are closing in on one billion, or whatever, the, the thing they're rotating over. If this is million meters, then ten billion, or a hundred billion meters, I guess. Yeah, 100 billion meters. Uh, yeah, we're closing in on 100 billion meters. Or, a thousand, yeah. A thousand billion meters. I can't do math, apparently. <clears throat> so, quick uh, few things I want to cover today, including, but not limited to, KSP will be on hiatus for a bit. Um, I've gone and watched stuff related to trailers of... Uh, 0 0.16, and I am just flabbergasted and blown away with the uh, EVA stuff, and then I tried to go back to one po or 0.15, and uh, it's just so hard. I think there might be an episode, one more episode um, in which I'm going to experiment with RCS-powered spacecraft. But, um... I think that's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So, yeah, I know there are a lot of fans of KSP, and I apologize for that, but I have put out a ridiculous number of episodes of it. So, anyone want to try and spot our star? We're facing directly away from it. You know what? I sure as hell can't anymore. Oh, well. Also, we're coming up on 700 days. Wow. Been a long trip, I'll tell you that much. But, um, yeah. So, there might be one or two more episodes of KSP, but... For a little while, it's pretty much going to be on hiatus until point sixteen comes out. And I'm probably going to have a pile of fun with all the new EVAs and get a whole, probably another 10, 12 episodes out of that. We will see. We will see. So, I'm just going to say that this is how far we've gotten. And, uh, we are still under the gravitational effects of the, uh, sun. As you can see, our speed is technically decreasing. Although, at a rate of about, like, you know, a meter a second per day. And there we go. 700 days in this um, space voyage. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. How long it's actually going to take us to escape solar orbit, if at all, we'll find out. According to orbital information... Time to apoapsis zero. And my apoapsis is located about that far away. And the periapsis, which is of course on the other side of the sun, I believe, is that far away. So Somebody want to explain to me um, just exactly where my apoapsis is? Oh boy. Uh, anyway. So this episode is going to be ending with us reaching... 1 billion, or 1,000 billion, or the point is the red clock turning over to B. This might actually take a while, so I'm going to cut the uh, video here. And I will bring you back in at about 990 or something. We'll see. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. So... Still can't... Is that the star? Maybe not. It's not aligned properly. 
Still, yeah, I'm, I've been looking, can't find the star at all. So without further ado, let's go over the one, or let's uh, make it roll over to a B. 998. Nine 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 seven eight nine oh rolled over to G. We are now one thousand gigameters, I guess. Yeah, gigameters. We are now one thousand gigameters from the sun. How awesome is that? Uh, that's pretty awesome. So, that's uh, the daily uh, KSP update, I think. That's rather worrying that uh, the universe is beginning to phase out. I think I may be hitting, like, the edge soon. Because I doubt that this is all, you know, infinite. <laughs> Whoops, I broke the universe, everybody. Well, this is Calvin signing off.